All right. Yes. Welcome to the weekend analysis. It is another day and another time. So I'm going to share analysis on gold spot as usual. So this is analysis for five days of the coming week. So I'm providing a general probable direction. So you have to go deeper, analyze the market and see the possible entries and also watch analysis from other traders uh, to have confluence and also remember to consider risk management when taking trades. Now this will be from 22nd to 26th of um, April so it is just five days market move. So we had analysis previous week and it has done very well so even if we had uh, sideways movement now almost uh, throughout the week market was moving sideways but um, actually it, it has maintained what was projected so that is powerful and let us see now what is possibly going to happen so i'm going to do a top-down analysis from a monthly time frame then i go down to four hour time frame and in four hour time frame it's where i provide a probable direction and the possible entry levels now for next week so make sure that you watch this video till the end so i'm in a monthly chart so now in a monthly time frame now we see the overall picture is market is trending to the upside because we see uh, formation of those higher highs and the higher lows and basically in two months consecutively price has gained very strongly and i think this has never happened if you look on uh, price history i think you can never find uh, at any point where gold gained that stronger move in two months like how it happened in march and april 2024 so that is powerful so basically this indicates that uh, buyers are dominating price direction uh in the monthly time frame at the moment uh price move and also uh we see now uh april candle pushed to the upside and has a little rejection from there so basically uh we consider uh a level i mentioned a level uh, i think it is two weeks ago a 2400 level it is a psychological level so price is mostly likely to be rejected around those levels so actually we see price tried to uh break to the upside above 2400 but sellers come in so it seems like this uh 2400 it may hold it true to maintain price below it unless we can have uh, stronger buyers but all in all until to the moment price is trading below 2400 therefore uh, there's a possibility of price uh turning to the downside from this level so that is the monthly uh time frame and this is the monthly chart that is all about we are looking up. So let me go to weekly time frame and see what are the highlights. Now in the weekly time frame, as usual, as I've been saying, it is more than a month now. I've been talking about the three swing to the upside. So we see three swing correction, three three swing we are looking for correction currently at this level so that is powerful and it correlates with the psychological level and in addition we have those trend lines that are running around those levels now we see especially the dotted one down here so we see now price was trading above and it touched this uh, around three times and then broke to the downside so actually uh, price currently is touching this from the downside so it was a support so currently has turned into resistance so we expect also price is going to be resisted at this level as we see previous week we had this rejection even though now this week has pushed to the upside covering this rejection so this deliver a bit information about a possible continuation to the upside even though it may not be that stronger but basically here there's a battle between buyers and sellers at this level so now the reasons for a possible sell uh, in weekly time frame we are looking for a possibility of selling so basically uh, you'll find that we have those trend lines the two trend lines are running around this level uh, so they are going to resist the price we expect that and also a psychological level at 2400 it is around the same region so we expect the price it may be rejected to the downside that is possible and also for those who do Fibonacci levels if you measure fibonacci extension now if you measure fibonacci extension now of this one uh versus this one so if you run the fibonacci extension you'll find that now the length of the final move here <clears throat> 
now it is um, 1.2 of this previous swing here so a 1.2 is also a possible region for price to reverse based on the Fibonacci extension now so you will try measuring the Fibonacci and all other things so we have several factors of the possible reversal from this region then let me go to daily time frame and see the possible um direction now in daily time frame let us see the possible price move so basically uh i can highlight the trend lines as, as we have seen in weekly time frame uh but in addition i will add this one the expanding structure so you will see you will see that uh, the upper channel of the expanding structure is passing at the same level with those other trend lines there so it forms the third factor of confluence for a possible price uh, turn at this level so basically um we are looking for confirmations for sales from this particular uh, particular point and at the same time if you look on the lower channel you see the lower channel ends up here but if you go deeper and extend this to the, to the right you'll find that now you see this one price was moving above it above it then broke to the downside and has retested with rejection from this level so in most cases we expect this can be a, a what we call the sr flip so now it was a support has flipped into resistance so there's a possibility of price moving down and at the same time you can look on the previous um uh, week candle the friday candle it formed a rejection and this week price has maintained below that rejection so there's a possibility of this holding true then next we can possibly see price trending to the downside so those are the reasons for the possible move to the downside uh in daily time frame so we are mostly looking down but this doesn't mean that price is going to move down because if there are possibility for me moving down so there are also other possibility of price moving to the upside as i've said in monthly time frame we are strongly looking up then in weekly time frame we have seen the uh, current week candle has covered the rejection of the previous week candle so that is also a sign of moving to the upside so in the lower time frames we have confirmations for sell but in higher time frames we're still uh, looking up so in most cases we wait for those uh all timelines now to to time frames now we're looking for those time frames to align each other so that's very powerful then let me go to the last time frame that is the four hour time frame to see the possible entries now in the four hour time frame we see there was a beautiful trend uh to the downside now price opened with a stronger bearish momentum and then we have seen now this week price has been moving uh, almost sideways and it was just uh, struggling moving to the upside now so we see this was a beautiful push but those other moves here it is just a struggle to the upside so this seems to be a correction and we see a possible abc correction to the upside and yes currently um bearish momentum opened here correction so we expect our price may continue open down with the uh bearish momentum so what i can suggest here now we see this level down here i talked about this level even uh in my previous week analysis i talked about those multiple touches around this level we have the multiple touches so now in most cases this week will be also looking at the same level a 23 um i mean we have a 2330 uh level now that is a 23 30 level so if we see prices trading uh prices trading now above 2330 now this will be uh will be now looking for a possible um bones to the upside if it if, if it is trading above 2330 but the moment when the price is going to break and close below 2330 is a point where we'll be looking for possible sales so now in most case next week now my primary projection what i can suggest is we'll be looking for a possible uh push to the downside in any way break retest then we can continue selling to the downside we'll be selling up to those levels down here now you can see around 21 50 something in any way but always watch for the those possible break and retest at the 23 
uh, 30 level but otherwise when the price is around 23 30 level it may bounce and continue pushing to the upside so you can now taking some short term buys because in most cases when you look on volume indicators you can find that the buying volume is very low so in most cases you cannot hold long term buys so you can just look for short term buys so we can bounce to the upside and buy up to the levels of around maybe 24 uh 40 something now 24 40 you can take up to those uh levels or when the price break below uh 23 30 you can now take sales so that's powerful and that's how you are going to take your trades next week so thank you for your time make sure that you do your own analysis watch analysis from other traders uh to have conference and also observe risk management have a powerful weekend